Hi peeps and welcome back to my channel. It's another city girl here tuning in with another video. If you're new here, my channel provides luxury, travel, and lifestyle content. Please subscribe to my channel to be notified of when new videos are being posted. So today's video is an updating my entryway video. Nothing too extensive and I managed to do this whole entire update for less than $50. So here is a picture of the before. As you can see, there's no landing area to put anything other than a couple hooks for the keys. As I was taking that off, I ended up actually ripping my wall and had to putty and repaint. Now with any entryway update, painting the wall is always optional. It does freshen up the space. It doesn't cost a lot, it costs about $30 for a quart of paint. I ripped mine in my case, so I had to repaint it and this is the final result of painting it. So my paint color is the Benjamin Moore Classic Gray. After painting it, I've updated the light switch cover to a brush gold. And as you can see, I have the electrical panel in my front door area. So I have a, an Ikea Reba framed with all the postcards of the different places we traveled to use that to cover the electrical panel as a decorative piece. And here I am with another IKEA piece, which is the IKEA Jisig, which are hooks. You can use them over the door or you can just hang them into the wall. So I'm actually gonna use these as key hooks because I have very big and heavy bunches of keys. Um, so big that I actually use a key smart. I love using that. It's like a Swiss army like uh, with your keys. Uh, so you just put them all in there. Um, while I was putting this together, my drill actually ran out of power, so I had to painstakingly use a screwdriver and did everything by hand here. So here's a different angle of the front entryway. I am actually going to put up a shelf as well as the hooks that you saw earlier. And here's the little tip in terms of how to hang things straight on the wall without leaving a lot of mark is using painter's tape. So as you can see here, I put two strips. I'm just eyeing everything to see how that looks for me on the wall and then I'm gonna mark it because what I really want is to have the shelf sit really well on top of the hooks. So once I've eyed everything out in terms of the height of where I want the shelf to be, I grab my leveler and here's my little trick as you can see here. I level everything out with the leveler and then I draw on the tape. This would always guarantee that I have a straight and leveled shelf or hooks or whatever you put onto the wall without leaving a mark. Because at the very end, once I'm done, I rip off that tape and all you see are the holes that you put in the wall. So once I leveled everything out and marked where I want the screws in the wall, I just put everything into the wall, as you can see here. One thing you don't see that I've done previously is use a stud finder to make sure there's no electrical in behind the drywall. Um, for me, especially it's for safety because I do have electrical panel on this wall. For yourselves, when you're doing it, same thing. You wanna make sure you check. Also, just in case there's a stud behind there. So after putting the screws into the wall, I made sure the hooks actually fit onto the wall where I put the screws. So here I am just doing a quick check and just putting everything on there. 
and afterwards I am going to work on putting the screws into the wall to put the shelf up as well. So after putting up the second set of screws, I put the shelf onto the wall, made sure it was a good snug fit as well. And uh, I measured everything really well. So I made sure the holes were just about an inch and a half apart from the top and the bottom. So you can see I had two lines and once I was done, it was nice and snug and flush. So it sat really nicely. So once the hooks and the shelf were up, I was going to put up a vintage mail bin to hold all my mail in the front of the door. I hung a set of my keys. You can see the key smart there. What essentially what I was trying to do was measure. So then that way I was still able to hang a key over the mail bin. And I found this at HomeSense, this uh, vintage mail bin. And it's super cute. And I think it was only $13. So following the same trick that I used previously, I am putting painter's tape on the wall to the height of where I want to hang the bin. So I'm putting a few strips here. I think I put three. Yep, I put three here as you can see. That way I was able to measure it out um, and it gives me more flexibility. So same thing, once I had the painter's tapes on the wall, I grab my leveler and level out a couple lines just to find out the height in terms of where I want to hang the mail bin. So once I drew out the two lines that I had on the wall on the painter's tape, I measured out which one worked best for me and I found the one, the line on top worked best. So here I am, I've already measured out the space apart, so just screwing in the screws and then tightening it slowly so then that way it would be a snug fit on the wall. So once I got all the screws to where I want it to be, I took everything off and this is the most satisfying part. You just rip off the painter's tape and now you have perfectly measured screws on the wall, first try, all leveled and ready to put all the hooks and shelf and the mail bin back onto the wall.
So once I had the tape removed, I put the shelf as well as the hooks and the mail bin back onto the wall. Now you'll see here as I am putting the final touches into the space, I just want to make a note that I did shop around my home instead of going out and buying these pieces. Uh, if you decide that you want to go out and buy extra pieces to decorate your entryway, it, of course it will impact your budget. But these are items that I already had or previously purchased and never got a chance to use. So now I'm able to put everything to good use. And finally, the big reveal. So overall, as you can see here, I kept this space very simple and minimal in terms of the upgrades. Mainly my biggest problem with this entryway was that it was non-functional. So one thing I do want to make clear is that as part of this makeover, I did have to repaint my walls because I ripped it. So I had to repaint it. It didn't cost me extra money for this because I already had the can of paint in storage because I used the same color. Now painting is always an optional thing that you could do to upgrade your space. But for me, the four biggest purchases I bought was the light switch cover. I needed an upgrade, so I upgraded to a brush gold and that was about $8. I purchased a shelf from HomeSense, which was about $10. The hooks were from Ikea and they were $13. And the mail bin, as you can see here, which was another HomeSense find, was $13 as well. Overall, it cost me $44 to make over my entryway. And that's all for today's video. Thank you as always for tuning in and watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below, does this video inspire you to redo your own entryway at home? If you have not done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification button so that way you will be notified of when my new videos are being posted. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.